Here. So the new cars came out today and they gave us a Stephen Curry because he had 50 and 10. Hopefully he's gonna be better than the other Steph Curry. They gave us a Moses Malone, I'm hoping, because the 75th anniversary, there's no way they could have made him bad. They gave us a Nicholas Batum that might get an Evo to a pink diamond. A Lucius Allen, who's usually an interior defending point guard, and a Robert Covington, who was a fan favorite, I'm pretty sure, because everybody loves Robert Covington on this game. So, let's get into it. The third seed in Jazz Gaming at point guard from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's splashy! Okay, so basically I'm gonna look at the 75th anniversary one first just because that's what I wanna look at first because that's gonna be him with every badge. So 6'10", high 7'2", wingspan, 95 defense. So that means his steal is either gonna be low or one of his perimeter defensive stats. He has a seven, hold up, hold up. Let me go look at his shot right out gate. Set shot one, whose shot is that? I've never shot with Dini. I've never shot with Maxi Kleber neither. I don't know. He has a 72-3 right out gate. That's the first thing you get to see. 85 speed, 96 strength, 90 vert, 95 interior, 58 steel. Just like I said, I could have predicted it with my eyes closed. I looked at his defensive rating and the first thing I saw was it had to be a low steel or low perimeter defensive statistic because his defense has 95, offense is 97 instead of vice versa. So, 74 speed with ball, bad passing attributes, but he can get bullet pass. He gets no play badges. His defensive badges are not even that gas. So, if you compare him side by side with David Robinson, David Robinson is the better player. Max rebounding, though. You can give him every shooting badge on the game, sadly. So, you can give him every shooting badge on the game, but you'd have to worry about giving him chase down and, like, something else first. Like, he has an interceptor with a 58 steal, so, like, that just takes everything out of the equation. Like, it's, I want to see what's the point in running him over David Robinson if David Robinson beats him in every statistical category. But then again, this is a Tuesday drop. So I would prefer a Friday player is better than a Tuesday player. But you can't give him every shooting badge on the game at the 75th anniversary version. Somehow he has fundamental, but point guards don't get fundamental. But other than that, I mean, he looks like a decent center. I would say he makes top five centers. I don't know who he's knocking out because it's David Robinson. David Robinson is still better than him. Um, he's allowed to get every shooting badge in the game, so I don't know if I want to say he's better than Anthony Davis. I know he's not, I, I don't want to say he's better than Dolph because Dolph gets all of this with amazing attributes. Chris Webber has half rebound chaser, better passing attributes, better shooting stuff as well, so I don't want to say he's better than Chris Webber. I put him under those people, even if it's the 75th anniversary, because if you hit 72 three ball, if you give him some shooting badges, I mean, Josh Smith was hitting every shot, shout out ISO deal, with every single shot he shot, so I'm pretty sure he'd be able to knock something down, but he's not the Moses Malone I was expecting, so let's just go back, and I'm not going to say he's a must cop, but he is a nice center. D-Rob is still better than him, so I'm actually pretty upset, though. Let's go to the flat, uh, the prime time, David Robinson. 94 defense. What did they change? They put his perimeter defense down two. Three pointer stays the same speed, the same speed with ball, the same rebound, and went down one. He can no longer get all the patented badges that would have made him a make or break center. Uh, he can't get every play badge still. He can't get every D badge that matters still. Besides maybe Menace, if you were to use that, still can get limitless takeoff. So basically, same player, just minus being able to give him badges to let him shoot from deep. You can still give him sniper, etc. So the difference between this base Moses Malone and the base David Robinson is basically the difference between the two would be David Robinson's 75th anniversary is better than his 75th anniversary. I think Moses Malone's base is gonna be up there with David Robinson's base card but this 58 still is sending me like I don't think y'all understand how much that ticks me off like that's like my pet peeve them giving big men low steals so Kevin Garnett can continue to be the best big man on the game <sighs> but Kevin Garnett will be obtained today so we'll see how Kevin Garnett performs on court so the Moses base is like now I'm losing much but making him uh shoot from far <sighs> let's see everybody know who my favorite player is I'm gonna tell you what I want them to do right I want them to Give him go quick first step. Give him quick chain. Give him mismatch. That's it. You can you can you can take away his D badge. You can do whatever you want to do to him. I just want that to be done. Let's see what they did to Steph though. 50 points, 10 assists. Every hot spot except the left and right midi. 91 speed, 97 three. These are identical statistics to the 
to the Signature Series car, but the Signature Series car has a higher steal. Let's look at the badges. He lost Hoff Chef for Silver Mismatch and Quick Chain. So basically, are you gonna drop your steal by six? I already memorized all his attributes too. So basically, are you gonna drop his miss? Are you gonna drop his chef from Hoff if you have the regular signature series one? If you don't have the signature series one, I mean, hey. So basically, it's are you gonna drop his steal by six, I believe, so you can get silver mismatch and silver quick chain? That's the question at hand here. Basically, like that's that's your question. So it's it's literally up to you. Like, if I compare them side by side, let me let me let me get them side by side real quick so I can see what is the identical differences. And I'll do the chef, the, the main one. Um, hot spots are the exact same. Attributes all are identical besides his steel. Yeah. Are you gonna drop his steel seven so you can get silver quick chain? Are you gonna drop his chef to gold so you can get silver mismatch? So basically, it's up to you if you want to take the risk or not. Like, so everybody's hopes were let down. I mean, it looks like they didn't do much to the Stephen Curry. I don't have to say anything else on them because it's the exact same card basically with silver mismatch, silver quick chain. So like. You have the other Steph Curry, please just keep him. It's no point. Like Stephen Curry still is gonna be expensive though because he's Stephen Curry. But they did it wrong once again. I'm done having faith in them making cards. So get Nicholas Batum, you know. Let's go to him. Six eight seven foot wingspan. Batum is usually good on these games. And when we get the Evo, let's see what he turns into. 85 speed, 85 three defensive attributes are amazingly mid, which is amazing. He has half a bullet. Wow. You can't touch any of his badges because he's an Evo. And I'm going to guess when you can touch his badges, he gets some of this. Um. So, okay. Knocking that he gets his Evo. And they let you give him some slashing back. And it's a, you can pick between like slashing or sharp or something, depending on how he performs. I like him. Hoff Bullet, he's basically a Larry Bird, but with better speed. So, the Larry Bird that everybody locked in, he looks like Larry Bird, but with more speed. Larry Bird had a higher three. Look, uh, I think he has higher rebounding than Larry Bird. And Larry Bird's passing attributes were higher. But having Hoff Bullet... As being Nicholas Batum is crazy to me. Has two half badges. Neither both of these are useless stuff. Um, you can't get rim and he's a uh is he power forward primary? Power forward primary can't get rim, so I'm hoping like his Evo will save him because all he has to do is get 15 points and five boards. But even if he doesn't get an Evo, this is a great this is gonna be a great budget power forward because he came out with Stephen Curry in the 75th anniversary Moses. So looks so nice. Looks nice. Slash or dribble style, of course. Why would they give him anything else? Jump shot 40 has the same shot as Gary Payton. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I throw him. I think Tobias and Miles Bridges are better than him base, but I don't know if he's going to get his Evo because DeAndre Aiden and Tyler Hero failed to get their Evo. So if he doesn't get his Evo, I mean, um, it's up to you if you want to run him over Tobias and him. But Hoff Bullet is a difference maker for him being a diamond like power forward. That's amazing. So I like him. Not gonna say must cop because I need to see him after his Evo, of course. But everything else, 82 board, 85 steal, 84 block. Everything is 80. This are the only other person I think who has these defensive statistics besides like AK Josh Smith is who's a diamond. I think it's Mark Aguirre. Mark Aguirre's defensive stats look just like this. But if you compare him and Mark Aguirre side by side, Mark Aguirre is better, but he gets half bullet. So it's how much do you want to let half bullet make or break the car? But I like the Nicholas Batum. Um, let's look at Lucius Allen. 6265 wingspan. I want to see what this player build looks like in game. Um, 93 speed, 86 3, 75 vert, 50 strength, 6, 65 interior, 90 perimeter, 90 steel. He gets no shooting badges. What, what do they? What do they think he is? So you gave him an 86 3, but he gets no. Does he have any hot spots? He has two hot spots on the three. So why would you? What's his dribble side? I know it's gonna be base. It's power. Oh my god, they just know how to mess up a point guard card, bro. This is crazy to me, bro. Literally none of these like him even having a Kobe Bryant size of escape not Kobe not the Kobe escape But Kobe Bryant size of escape just falters because like Why does he have no shooting badges 90 perimeter 65 interior is smooth you give him a shoe and stuff You can give him the 70 interior, but he has 50 strength So he's getting matched by pistol Pete as well. He can't even dunk. What's his dunk package? So if I see if he can dunk every single time because 50 dunk pistol Pete got a 50 dunk and he dunks He got room grades off one yeah, he could dunk every single play if you know how to activate it uh Passing attributes are amazing though, but like he just what is he? He's a he's a he's an Ami, right? Which you can only give him four badges. You can give him every badge on the game. That's tough. I think it's tough that you can give him every badge on the game, but gosh. Geez, you're gonna have to pick between like limitless spot up, hot zone, chef, mismatch, lucky, some sniper. Like you're gonna have to pick between all those. Lastly, let me look at his jump shot to see if like it's even like make or break. He got Walt Frazier and them stop. 
shot Walt Frazier is better than him, but he has potential to be better than Walt Frazier if you badge him out right. But that jump shot is so baited. It's so baited. Like, that's why nobody has Walt Frazier on the court anymore. It's easy to play off of it and get back. So I'm not a fan of Lucius Allen because he looks like a budget Walt Frazier. So if you really want Walt Frazier, there's your Walt Frazier if you couldn't afford him with the token. So I'm not a fan. Last, let's look at Covington. Please tell me that didn't break you, right? 72 wingspan, every three point hot spot. 86 three ball. I know his defensive statistics are going to be amazing. Perfect defensive statistics. Rebounding is nice. Can't touch his play. Yo. Why can't we touch any of his badges? He's supposed to get an Evo 2? I didn't, I didn't, I know Batum was. I don't know if Covington's supposed to get an Evo 2, but you got to be able to touch something, right? His D badges are amazing, though. For him to be a Ruby, these might be the best D badges we've had from a Ruby since, like, when you could upgrade Darius Miles or something or Jay Crowder. Because these defensive statistics, 86, 87, 85, 85, 87, are amazing. That's basically mid-85 to 90s in every statistic. He's going to be able to get stops on the power four and a center because he has 82 strength. I'm liking his rebound. But the fact you can't touch any of his badges are kind of atrocious to me. He still has the same shot. I know I don't got to worry about none of that. So I like Robert Covington. So in order of the cards, that's the best today. Um, Nicholas Batum, if he gets an Evo, is going to be the best card from today. I'm going to keep it on it. Moses, 75th anniversary, the 58 still is sending me, so I'm not a fan anymore. Steph is the same. Steph is just, are you, do you want silver mismatch and quick chain over half chef? That's up to you. Like, you drop, you drop your steel seven, you get silver mismatch and quick chain, but you lose half chef. Like, but if you got the regular Steph, I think you should go get this Steph. Who's just Allen? I mean, I promise it's just a free, it's like a five, a 5K Walt Frazier. Um, and Robert Covington looks nice, but you can't touch him or Batum's badges, and I'm not a fan of that. So... I love every single one of y'all. That's my analytics for the day. A little underwhelming with the names that they dropped, so I'm actually pretty stunned, to be honest. But regardless, you know, I'm going to stay consistent at the end of the day. I love every single one of y'all. Make sure everybody has a blessed day. Peace.